today on Divorce Court. Today, we have a classic case of are you sorry you did it or are you sorry you got caught? After her affair was dramatically exposed, this couple has struggled to get back on track. He's haunted by images of her with another man. And even though he desperately wants to keep his family together, they're in trouble. Let's see if he's willing to trust again and if she's now trustworthy. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Ileana Lemus and Robert Lemus. The two of you have been together for six years, married for the last four. It does look like it is the end of the road for you. One of the reasons is because you are not altogether sure that the last child that she had is yours. So we have taken a DNA test to determine whether or not you are, in fact, the father of that last child. Before we get to that, however, Mrs. Lemus, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what happened? We're here today, Your Honor, because I had an affair with my husband about a year and a half ago. Um, ever since then, everything has spiraled down. Um, but let me take you back to the beginning. Okay. So I met my husband when I was 19 years old. Mm -hmm. At that time, I was going through my first divorce. I was a single parent. I was enrolled in school and I was working. Um, my free times, I would go out, um, enjoy my youth. And when I met my husband, I made it clear to him that I didn't want anything serious. I just wanted to have fun. Right. Fast forward, we're married. Um, a couple years after a marriage, I start having a quarter-life crisis. A quarter-life crisis. Now, tell me why you believe you were having a quarter-life crisis. What was going on? I wasn't happy where I was at that time um, with my career goals. I, I had a home, I had a marriage, I had my kids, but... How many kids did you have? At that time, we had two. What did you start to do when you were in crisis? I quit my job. You quit your job? I quit my job. Did you tell him first? I expressed to him many times that I wasn't happy. I was bored in my job. I didn't want to go to my job. It wasn't what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Mr. Lemus, is, is that pretty much an accurate recitation of what occurred? No. Uh, <laughs> you tell me what you say occurred. Uh, we were foster parents at the time. We had two of our own and then the four foster kids. So we had six all together. We started off with one. That's a huge thing to miss over there, Ms. Lemus. I got to tell you, you told me you had two kids, six of kids in the house. Mr. Lemus, go ahead. We had our two. We did have one foster kid, um, and she wanted uh, an infant. Mm -hmm. So when the agency found an infant, um, they gave her a call, and you know we got an infant. The next day, the infant had siblings, so they tried to keep the siblings together. Well, they brought two more kids. So by the time I got off work, I had two <laughs> more kids oh, there. Boy. So all together. No heads up. I knew about the, the, the one, one we had, and then I knew about the baby. And the baby, but yes. the other two yes. just popped up on you. Yes. Did you take in two children without letting the man know? No, I told him. I called him, and I told him. The baby came at 2 o'clock in the morning, and they told us that she had siblings, and they were placed somewhere else. So they were going to try to find placement for those, mm -hmm. those other two kids. And I didn't want that. I was waiting for about a I year got, I got, I baby. Got, I, got, I got it. Let me ask you this. When and how did you first find out that she was having an affair? She was getting in between one of her friend's relationships. And I asked her to stop, and then she told me she did, and I went through her phone and found out she did it. At that time, I found out that she was texting other guys. More than one guy? More than one guy. It was one guy. It was more than one guy. <laughs> um, what kind of things were they saying? Um, dirty text messages, some which were the same text messages that she sent me. I ended no. up finding oh, out. No. no, no, no. Don't tell me you sent the same dirty no. messages to two different guys, the no. husband and somebody else. The same emojis, maybe, but not the same exact <laughs> words. Well, were they dirty emojis? Were they sexual emojis? Some of them, yeah. Oh. Did you feel at all badly about that? No. Ooh. Why not? Because he says he was being supportive, but he wasn't. He would come home, he would go to sleep, and that was the end of seeing him. When he was awake, he was um, always bickering about the kids, and you take care of your foster kids, and this is what you wanted, this is not what I wanted. You call that being supportive? Is that true that you did fight a lot about the children? A lot of it was just the time. I still worked full time, and I felt like she didn't understand that. I do construction, I go out in the summer heat, and I do get tired. I got gotcha. you. And she had, you know, the bulk of the kids. What was this new guy that you had a full-blown affair with doing for you that Mr. Lemus wasn't? 
He was encouraging me um, to finish school, to go back and finish my dream of, mm -hmm. of going to school. Which was in law hang on, hang on, hang on, let her finish. Go ahead. Um, and he was also encouraging me to work out um, and to to keep on with the kids. Even though I felt like I was by myself, he would always remind, it, remind me that, you know, my husband was kind of being supportive in a way by allowing me to have the kids. He was being supportive. And he was being supportive. Yeah. Let me tell you how easy it is to be supportive when you're not in the mess that you're in. He's being supportive from afar. He didn't, I don't know if he was giving you money or not, but this man was supporting you financially. This man was in the house with the kids, with you, when you were upset. That other guy was just sleeping with you and talking a good game. It's really easy to be supportive when you're not carrying the burden. Really, really easy to do. You know, I, you know, people get that confused all the time, and I don't understand what it is they don't understand about what it is to be a be an armchair quarterback in a game you ain't playing. But anyway, I'm done with that. <laughs> I got started, but I, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. You say, however, that Mr. Lemus was verbally abusive, and I want to talk about that. After the affair. He um, went on and called me a slut, called me a whore. Where and when? In front of our children. And um, he tells me that I am a worthless piece of I'm questioning because of the end. It's just the timeline of it, and it's just always on my mind. Now we're going to find out if it's your baby. Ms. Lemus, you say that Mr. Lemus was verbally abusive to you. Could you give me some specific examples of things he said and when he said them? So after the affair, he um, went on and called me a slut, called me a whore. Where um, and when? In front of our children. Um, once was in front of our children. He went on and told... At the um, time, Your Honor, we were arguing. I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you. Slut and whore in front of the kids. When and where else? Another time was at our son's uh, birthday, fourth birthday party. We had guests over, and I had served cake to a guest, mm -hmm. and this guest was his guest, and she was upset, and so she called me names. Um, I asked her to leave. She wouldn't leave because she said that she was his guest, so she was allowed to be there. So I went ahead and grabbed him and asked him to escort her out, and he refused. He ended up kicking me out of the house and telling me to leave. So our families get involved. Everybody's yelling, calling each other names. I'm the slut. I'm the cheater. My son's birthday party was ruined because of this. How long was this after the affair was... This was? ...came to light? Six days after the affair. Six days after. No one is excused for that kind of behavior, but you can't see that everybody was hurt and raw because of what you did. Right. Um, any other things that he said or done that you found verbally abusive? Um, recently, we got into an argument. I don't even recall why. It was, it was dumb. And um, he tells me that I am a worthless piece of and that I'm never going to be anything because I'm worthless. Okay. Mr. Lemus, your response to those allegations? What happened was the kid in question, uh, that's mine or not, had woke up crying. I woke up. My mother, uh, staying at the house, woke up, and we were wondering where she was at. Well, come to find out, she was outside in a T-shirt and her underwear talking to another guy at the phone at 1.30 in the morning. Were you in your T-shirt and underwear outside talking to another I was, guy? I was, and, and it's not the first time that I've, that I've done that. And he knows that. I've, I've gone out to the backyard. I've gone out to the front yard. In your T-shirt and underwear? Yes, it's a long T-shirt. It's like, it's a long T-shirt. I'm not showing anything other than legs and arms. Mm -hmm. His whole thing was that he believes that I was in a relationship with this person, and he Eight goes question. to the no. He goes to the extent of going every time he thinks I'm doing something, or that he finds out that I am doing something, he goes to the extent of going to the person's work. What did you do at that man's job? Uh, I just wanted closure. Confrontation was not on my mind. Um, okay. Did it but end up being a confrontation? Up? No, he ended up not being there. But oh, okay. my problem was that she kept saying this guy is gay, and then she says, well, we're joking around, he acts gay. I go, well, which one is it? <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah. So it's I... Not, for, it's for, not what for what purpose? For what purpose? Because it's not, it's not my place to tell his business, so... She spoke about it, though. She started it. You asked about it, and if I don't give you answers... And once you, and once you did that, it. you know, you made it his business. Once you said that, didn't mean the cat's out the stop. bag. He doesn't stop picking and picking and picking. He has to go until he gets something. And sometimes when you tell him the truth, he doesn't like the truth. So, okay, 
this guy, right? Mm -hmm. He goes to his job. Oh, I went to so-and-so's job and they told me he's not gay and they told me you're sleeping with him. I'm not sleeping with him, Robert. I never no, said that. yes, you did. They told me you're sleeping with him. I'm not sleeping with him, Robert. Yes, you are, yes, you are. Okay, Robert, I'm sleeping with him. I've kissed him, okay. That's what you want to hear. Okay, so he's frustrated, and you have to admit to something you hadn't done right. in order to keep him quiet. I understand what you're telling me. Now I want to I want to move to the manner in which you handle your difficulties, which I understand has a great deal to do with social media, and I want to talk about that now. In order for him to forgive me, I went ahead and posted a live video on Facebook. He was holding my phone, and I was telling my friends and family that I was a cheater, that I was a slut, and that I was sorry for cheating on my husband. Could you forgive your partner for having a two month long affair? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. Mr. Lemus told me, just told me that he, he made you do a public confession on social media. Why don't you tell me how that transpired and, and what that confession looked like? The day after he found out, mm -hmm. he came back. Um, I begged him that I wanted to make things work because we're human and we make mistakes. So in order for him to forgive me because of the allegations I made the day before, which some of them were true, um, I went ahead and posted a live video on Facebook, which he was holding my phone and I was telling my friends and family that I was a cheater that I was a slut and that I was sorry for cheating on my husband. Um, at the end of the video, I, I'm sorry, I, um, I asked him, what else do you want me to say? So he got upset, he turned off the phone. My family thought I was being held hostage by him. Um, I had police calling my phone, blowing up my phone, asking where we, was, where we were at, if I was okay. Um, and they went to our location to verify that I was okay. Your Honor, I wanted just a genuine Apology on camera. I did post on social media what happened and I did call her names. Well, she went and lied and said that I beat her, I raped her, I did this and I did that. And that's why I told her, I go, if you're really sorry, then you can post a video on social media saying that you did lie and what really happened. Ms. Lee, and Ms. I told her that if law enforcement gets involved, that's... You involved Ms. law enforcement. Ms. 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 How did he involve law enforcement? The guy that I had an affair with was in, in law enforcement. So he. But she's going to school. He, no, no, no. For let it. me finish. Let me finish. And this was before I met him. Don't I was get going angry. To for that. Uh, uh, you're telling me a story. So he finds out about the affair. He finds out what the guy does for a living. He posts it online on Facebook. And he tags the police department because he couldn't find the guy's Facebook. You seem very indignant about his response to your... You, you know what I mean? You seem really indignant by the fact that he was hurt by the fact that you, you dishonored him and your marriage in such a complete and, and, and unequivocal way. Do, do you see that as a little odd? No. You don't see that as... A, that it might be a normal reaction of someone whose spouse had an affair on them? Don't you see how hurtful that would be and how someone might not behave appropriately behind that kind of conduct? I do see why he reacted the way he did, but I also feel that it's not okay, especially coming from him, because he's not a person that likes social media to begin with. He purposely wanted to humiliate me because he felt humiliated, and I understand that. I really do. Um, do I regret having the affair? I've told him that I, I don't. And I would do it again because he keeps, he keeps belittling me and he keeps making me feel like I'm worthless and he tells me that I'm worthless. Why should I try being worth something to him if he tells me I'm not? Mr. Lemus, you filed for divorce the day after you found out. Yes, I've, I've always told Do you want to stop it or, and get back together or do you really believe this is the end of it? Honestly, I'm looking for a professional opinion. If, if we continue this, I feel like she's not sorry in what she does. And I just feel like if that's how it is, then there's no reason to move forward. I'm going to answer your question about what you think you ought to do. And I'm also going to answer your question about whether or not that last child is yours and determine whether or not that is going to weigh in on your decision. What would you do if your partner forced you to publicly apologize for cheating? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back.
everybody in here got a reason to be angry. You have an absolute reason to be angry with this woman because she cheated on you. And you got to own the fact that once you did that, you hurt him in such a primal, instinctual, and deep way that he's going to do things that are a little out of character. And un 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 no, hey, 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 it's all me. <laughs> out of character and unkind. Having said that, you don't ever, and I mean ever, involve your children in the adult nonsense in which you are engaged. I don't care how hurt you are. I don't care how bad you feel. You don't bring it up at a birthday party. You don't tell your children that their mother is a slut or anything else. And you don't go broadcasting it to the world at large because she hurts your feelings. I know she did a horrible thing, absolutely horrible. And she has to take time and measures to make it up to you. And you don't seem to feel that you're responsible to make it up for, to him. But you do. He's not going to trust you. So you don't go outside in your T-shirt and talk to the guy because he has trust issues because you created them. So it's your responsibility to do something about it. But at no time does this become an excuse to embarrass her and humiliate her publicly and mess with your kids. Mess with your kids' heads about who their mother is. Holy cow! How Honor, could can you? I say something? I, no, you can't. You know what, Ms. Lemus? You got impulse control. You want to do what you want to do when you want to do it. You quit your job. You got a whole lot of kids. You didn't ask him. You got him all caught up in a whole bunch of stuff, and you still don't want to take responsibility for it. It is your responsibility. Absolutely, unequivocally. <laughs> You want to have an infant? If you're not in, the, in a position to have an infant, you don't have it then. Holy cow. Now we're going to find out if it's your baby. Do you, what? Do you really think it's not? Or you just question it because she acted such a fool at the, at the end there? I'm questioning because of the end. It's just the timeline of it, and it's just always on my mind. Well, it's one thing you need to take off your mind, because that's your baby. I told 99 you. 99.99999. Got 27 nines behind that point nine nine. Now, here's my, here's my next thing. I've been there for him, so... Yeah, yeah, and, 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 listen, here's the next thing. If you really want this thing to work, you got to put a period on the anger. You know, you did a bad thing, he did something in response, so you had the right to respond. You got to let all of that go. You have a job to do, which is to allow him to trust you again, and you have to do that being over the top in your trustworthiness. If you want to stay in this marriage, uh, if you want to forgive her, don't keep her an abuser. You got to make a decision about that. But whatever you do, make a decision. But everybody got to stop being angry, and I mean right now. Everybody got to get off social media. Everybody's got to be quiet in front of those children, and I mean right now. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes. Good luck to the both of you. This matter is adjourned. You didn't have any remorse. You said that you don't regret doing what you did. You said you'd do it again. I understand I made a mistake, mm -hmm. but I'm not the only one that has to change. There was problems before the cheating. Do you think you can trust her again? After finding out that the baby's mine, I think it's a start, but um, there's still a lot of work to gain trust.